Oh man, you know what I hate more than anything? When a project I've invested a lot of time in just stalls out and doesn't work. But man, this one is so frustrating. First, let me catch you up. I'm working on a smart car project using a Raspberry Pi and thus far I've successfully gotten it to view a backup camera, get car information from an OBD2 port, and map your location using GPS but it does all those things individually. And what I wanted to do is create a singular interface where you just press a button and you got maps, press a button and you got the backup camera, like that. And making any type of user interface requires some type of programming. I chose to go with Python because it's simple and you can draft things up pretty quickly. And I chose to go with the Pygame module for developing the user interface because I've used it on a lot of my previous projects. The only problem is that Navit, the GPS mapping software that I decided to go with, is only compatible with with PyQT, which is a more advanced development platform. Not to be deterred, I decided to switch from Pygame to PyQT, and since I've never worked with PyQT before, I started learning it. It's actually a pretty cool platform and can do some amazing things, but the one thing that it can't do is run the stupid Navit program without crashing. So now that I've rewritten pretty much all my code from scratch, I realized that Navit just isn't gonna cut it. So I started to search for other offline Python-based GPS mapping services, and guess how many I found that could actually be used? There really is nothing else available unless you code it from scratch. At this point, I'm pretty much burned out on the whole cycle of coding, failing, coding, failing, and I'm not really sure how to get around this hurdle. And unless you guys have other suggestions in the comments about the only thing I can think of at this point is getting away from Python and going to a different programming language which means writing everything all over again from scratch. Another language that I'm pretty well versed in, which would make a good option, is JavaScript. And there's a few different offline options for GPS map navigation as well as support for the Raspberry Pi camera and Bluetooth OBD2 communication. So that's a very good potential candidate, but that does mean that I'm gonna have to start all over. So for the time being, I'm gonna just put this project on pause. In the meantime, I'm ready to move Move on to something new as I'm sure most of you guys are as well. So that's my frustrating update and hopefully I'll see you guys in a week or two. If you have any ideas you can submit or vote for your favorites at tinkernut.com slash ideas. You can click here to watch more videos like this and if you got any value out of my show and would like to give some value back please feel free to donate at patreon.com slash tinkernut. Alright that's it for this tutorial. For more go to youtube.com slash tinkernut.